I know that's not human poop. No way. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Two hours to go. I started getting hungry and I needed to use the restroom, so I pulled over to the side and we're eating some breakfast. I was a little concerned that I wasn't gonna find the parking to this place, but there's a dead giveaway that this is where everyone parks. You have a sign up there that says e bikes for rent. And then you have this box just slapped with stickers. But we made it. So let me fill you guys in on what's going down. My buddy invited me to go to Yosemite. He got a spot through work. And I was like, I'm down, dude. Today's Friday. Uh, we're gonna be there until Sunday morning. And today he said we can't meet until four. But I had Friday off, so I was like, dude, you know what? I'm gonna drive up towards Yosemite and I'm gonna ride a trail along the way. This trail is called 007. It's a pretty lengthy trail. I think it's nine miles climbing up and then about five miles coming down. So it's gonna take me a while, but I have like five hours to kill. So I'm just gonna enjoy it. Take it easy, go slow. It is pretty warm, so I don't wanna overexert myself. But this trail is near Bass Lake, but I'll put the info to the to the trail in the description below. Let's see how this goes, man. Four hours later and we made it to the spot. Four and a half hours. Plenty of water when I'm out traveling or exploring. Locked and loaded. The beginning of the entrance looks like, I believe. So this road that we're going up is called Central Camp Road, and I believe it takes you up all the way. There you have it, nine miles ahead. Apparently this is a great trail to shuttle if you got two cars. Unfortunately, I'm riding solo, so we're gonna power through these nine miles. So even though this trail to get to the top is long, it's very gradual. You're just at a decent pace pretty much the entire way up. At least that's what it's been for the last two miles. I'm clocking in like 15 minutes a mile. So we should be up there. If my math is correct, what is that? Two and a half hours, I would say, to get to the top. So as you're climbing up the fire road, the trail actually goes through the fire road. So you're gonna exit from there, come this way, and then re-enter the trail right here. We'll probably see this feature and this sign on our way down. I think there are three sections of 007. The third is up top, second in the middle, and the first section is at the bottom. But so far so good. We're about 4.36 miles in with an hour and one minute. I needed to chill out. I felt my heart rate was acting kind of funny going up and down and uh yeah i decided to just chill shoot, shoot some trees let my body relax like the climb isn't hard it's really easy it's probably one of the easiest climbs i've ever done but when you factor in this heat it's like it creeps up on you you know you you, you think you're good and then you kind of pull to the side and you, you start feeling weird that's when you gotta just listen to your body <laughs> and chill out. I only have like one and a half miles left, but I wanna 
cool down a bit before we send it. Dude, check it out. It's like a mini pond as you make your way up. This is a really cool spot. I'm digging it. We made it. Finally, I think we're gonna head that way. Looks like people camp here. They set up their fire pits. This one over there. I know that's not human poop. I guess this is a start. I saw um, uh, tread marks on the on the ground, and do we go left or right? I'm gonna say straight because it looks like it lines up more with with the map of where we're going. Oh, dude, finally, after many hours of, of shredding, I mean, climbing. Wow, uh, this is so good, so beautiful. Oh, that's so good. I'm digging this, dude. Dude, the dirt is really good. I'm impressed. I would have thought it would have been way more loose because of the heat. Oh, this is enough money. <laughs> Man, I can see myself loving that section once I got it dialed in. Oh, that's so good. No way, so good. <laughs> Which way? Oh, I think I went the wrong way. This side looks a little better. Whoa. Dude, that little tree bark jump was so creative. I've noticed I've stopped checking the map because I figured this has to be the route, you know? This amount of fun. Oh. Alright, that's cool. Let's go a little bit. And then hit this little shit. Wow. And then now I gotta check the map. I didn't even really see videos on this trail 
I just saw that it was a loop and I was like, oh, okay. That looks cool. Oh, nice. Chunky. Just clear. Oh, dude. So worth the climb. Janky janky. That's a section oh, this is a section where you can easily get your your front tire stuck on something. That was a really long rock garden, if you'd call it that. I feel like my suspension is set up perfect for this type of trail. Oh. This is where I mentioned to you guys the where the trail intersects the fire road. Yep. You just want to go slow when coming out of that just so you don't potentially hit a car or a car doesn't hit you.
foot got pretty nasty. Oh, <laughs> I came at that way too high. I'm getting like mad tunnel vision right now. It's hard to see too because it's pretty shaded. Holy man, I have to like stop and go just because I get tired, and if I get tired, that's not good. I need a crash and the GoPro. It gets really hot when I uh, leave a recording for too long. Oh. This is a little more difficult to see. And it's all shaded. <laughs> Man, those little jumps are playful. Your boy is getting a workout. Let me tell you, a fun one, but it's a workout.
this is where we started our nine mile journey there she is 13.90 miles three hours and three minutes Sammy Cheers So the Yosemite trip is over We're back home But yeah the park was beautiful it, it was cool hanging out with my friend The weather was prime The trails that we hiked were insane In regards to the trail that we rode It is hands down some of the best single track I have ever ridden in California if you're near Bass Lake uh, and you know you have the time or you, you're with friends and you want to get a ride in, I highly recommend checking out 007. I didn't know what to expect. I went into that trail thinking, you know, it, it, it'll be more scenic than anything, but you have everything in that trail. You have fast, flowy, chunky views, and the dirt was just so good compared to what the dirt has been like here in socal and like the oc area but i think it's up there with one of my favorite trails here in california and the best part is that the climb if you're climbing it isn't that steep like it's so gradual um the entire way up so that's why i think it's nine miles just because there isn't like a sharp uh uphill or anything like that it's just a long climb up and it would be even easier if you had an e-bike or even easier than an e-bike would be to shuttle so if you have a group of friends or you know you're camping in the area with with multiple people you can leave one car at the bottom drive all the way up i don't know if you can leave your car at the top i didn't see any cars at the top what i did see was people going up dropping off riders and then coming back down but the fact that you have access you know and you're able to drive the nine miles is a is a time saver you know you're, you're not as exhausted doing the climb and you get to the top faster and to be honest i feel like you get your rides worth like that downhill if i could compare it to anything it would be like the luge on steroids and the luge is like a local trail we have in our area that is pretty similar to what I just rode uh, near Bass Lake but it's nowhere near as long. I was smiling the whole way down and the whole time editing this video I was smiling I was just thinking like dude this trail is so sick it's so fun I just had a blast. If you do decide to ride this trail during the summertime just be mindful that it does get pretty hot in that area it was a high of 95 uh, that day that I rode and I was just chugging water, chugging electrolytes, just being very mindful that I needed to listen to my body and take my time. So that is one thing to consider is that summertime it does get hot in that area. But if you guys have any questions about the trail, like where to park, how to get there, um, I'll, I put most of the info in the description, but if there's anything I miss, feel free to drop a comment and I'll try to answer it. But that is going to wrap up this spontaneous adventure and I'll catch you guys on the next ride. Peace.